Hey guys, Spencer with Z1, your source for all things Nissan Infiniti on frame, off road, or on. Um, here today to talk about uh, maybe some deep dive details on the Nissan Warrior project that uh, Heritage uh, Program from Nissan had loaned us. Um, we had this down from uh, Z Nationals in October, and I've been admiring it pretty much every day. Um, really enjoyed it when they launched it, beginning of 2016. Uh, I think it was uh, the first vehicle that they showcased the Cummings in, which is uh, gone now. So, uh, tough blow there. Still a awesome, awesome project vehicle, and it was nice to see uh, designer Randy Rodriguez from Nissan, who did the Titan, also did the 370Z that we're fond of, um, kind of showcase, I guess, what a Titan could be. And um, like I said, I think it's a really good example of how a full, like fully exercised style um, and project could come out. <clears throat> there are some things about this that are uh, kind of concept of vehicle -y that are maybe not fully functional, they're more show, and there's some things that are actually very real. It is built on an actual box ladder frame, uh, like a production truck, like an XD. It's, um, it's widened, I think, about six inches on the body with the flared bodywork. It's like seven feet tall, it's lifted, it's on 37 inch tires. Um, no, you can't fit 37s on your Titan without trimming it. Um, I know you guys are gonna ask, we see it in the groups all the time, it's great. Um, this one, this actually has a limited steering range uh, significantly so that it can have a great presence. It looks awesome, um, as you've seen, but uh, not super functional. However, it does drive, it runs, it cranks. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's way beyond what we call a concept, so I guess that's why it's maybe classed as a project. Uh, I don't have any news about it coming or anything like that. I, I'm in no control or response to that. Uh, we love it too and wish it could be, but uh, we thought we would show you a little more detail than what we've seen in most articles or coverage about how maybe detailed the work on the project was. So uh, join us and uh, we'll just hit some few highlights on the front and then we're gonna roll to the interior. So as you've probably seen in, in most of the press, uh, it's got this awesome burly like integrated skid plate. I love that thing. Uh, maybe somebody should make that. Um, it's, uh, it's got the beautiful flares. These look like they did a, like a CNC foam core maybe, or maybe their hands go sculpted like, um, like body work, and then they've wrapped it in, I think, fiberglass. Tons of carbon fiber accents everywhere for the, the flares and accents on the body work. I mean, we probably wouldn't do that for off-road, but it's certainly cool. Um, even the fender liner, like at the front, when you pop the hood and look in there, carbon fiber. So pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Um, hood's vented. It's got the sweet hood uh, roof cap with the integrated lights. I mean, we like all that. Um, everything you guys have seen, that's all the stuff that's in the regular press and coverage. We're going to use some really good looks at some of the other stuff. So let's take a gander at what's inside. It's really nice in here, by the way. I'll tell you. <clears throat> so this is being built, uh, I guess, customized, really, kind of on the production truck. There are a lot of things in here that I love that are familiar. The seats are really comfortable. I think this is like the zero grab seat that's got a rear wrap on it. Um, the interior work in this car is, I would say, or this truck, pretty flawless. And um, like how I referenced before, how well packaged the theme is, it's really good. They take some things that are subtle and some things a little more bold, they tie it all together. Okay, that being said, hopping in first glance, you've got this like super nice suede wrap dash with the contrast stitching. That stitching ties all the way through the truck. It's on the seats here. It's uh, on the rear seats, that's on the rear door leather, on um, this door leather. It's not over the top, it's just enough. I think I love, this thing has a lot going on, but it's, um, it's not like a crazy off-road logo or anything that's wild and kind of doesn't fit, it flows. That magma accent color extends a few other places. Um, you've got it on the trim on the door surround here, you've got it on these faux, um, as if luggage holders or something like these zip, like hard, not quite neoprene, but uh, uh, little cargo things. They're not real. They're totally a showpiece, but very cool. And uh, the, the fighter jet type thing, which for me was maybe the one over the top uh, piece. Uh, it's cool for, for a kind of concept project custom truck, but uh, that's the one thing for me is a little over the top. The, 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 the magma on the steering wheel counter, it's kind of got a little luster to it. And I think, I think that's the same thing that they use on the insert of the seat beneath this perforated Alcantara. So this kind of layout's really similar to what we see on like a sports seat on a 370Z with the Alcantara center, except this one's got a really cool effect. As you look across the perf, um, it, it's it got a, a neat effect to it. So kind of a carbon color on the insert there, 
like I said, super soft, comfortable. The emblems don't bother at all. Love the trim here on the headrest. Like I said, I think it's just enough. I'd be cool if all of this stuff was like top level production feature. Um, I, I think it would be cool uh, here. Though you got like faux or life support on Mars, uh, running gear with Titan stuff. It's built really nice, feels heavy and sturdy, but uh, maybe not so real. The switch gear for the traction control and shocks and lights and stuff, it's showpiece. The uh, three gauge uh, on the dash, also showpiece. I like it and it's all kind of hot rod. I could see something like this working. Maybe if there were a lot of extra accessory switches that already came standard with an off-road model or something, if you were gonna add some more lighting, uh, that would be cool, you know, some plug and play support. Uh, otherwise, the traction control, all that other stuff, it's still over here in the standard, it's really functional, and the truck does have it, so. Interior, I love it. Oh, the one thing, the floating A-pillar handles, I think it's probably one of my favorite things. I don't know if they'll ever make that for production, like if they can make it structurally for big burly Americans, but uh, man, it just looks cool. So, interior of the Warrior, um, I like uh, I like it, man. Huh. All right, so carrying on down the side theme, you still get that bulge, awesome wide body, um, same kind of thing. I think this is fiber. Um, rolls to the rear. I'm pretty sure we've got like a carbon fiber panel here. It looks like you can see the grain, um, even though it's painted. Uh, it's cool, cool effect and finish. You've got a more raw finish carbon here. It's got this lug treatment, kind of as just, I guess, a feature accent, and then, but it mirrors the treaded um, uh, step pad like on the bumper. Uh, very great fit finish all around. Again, just kind of overwhelmed by being taken with it. Get that magma accent, wraps all the way to the back. And then the mirror of that awesome, uh, super tough skid plate integration on the front is kind of almost mirrored with a rear skid plate diffuser kind of piece that wraps uh, under a bit from, from further back. This is a really cool finish. French den, uh, quad exhaust tips look really cool. And they kept the hitch on it, which I thought was like, you know, purely still truck <clears throat> um, and really great. But uh, of all these things, you know, um, whether it's all the stuff that ties together, I think it's the, it's the whole package thing that does the best, but of all the things, my favorite is the tail lights. <clears throat> I wish we could get them to work. We didn't have the controller, you know, but uh, they've got this neon glow effect that's kind of half the Titan logo. Um, as a really cool accent. And then inside on the side, they got this little tiny one that glows. Uh, that same red looks super hot. <clears throat> I wish we could get them working to show you guys, but uh, of all the things on the truck, I think the tails may be my most favorite thing. I know in the 2020 model, they've got this new LED tail coming out. It's not quite as cool as that, uh, but maybe it's a step in the right direction. So maybe we'll continue to see some evolution um, of more of these hints and traits come out over the years. So. Loved it. Mm. Mm. Well, we've certainly enjoyed uh, kind of taking the deep dive and even ourselves looking at all these little ins and outs, nuances of the project. I hope you guys enjoyed it too and maybe learned something new today. If, uh, if you'd like to see more of this type of content, please comment below. Let us know what you like the most. Let us know what you like most about the truck, what feature. Um, you know, I'm not ready to like pop one out for anybody, but uh, you know, tell us what did you like, what did you not like. Um, we, we know we wish they would make it. Uh, sure you feel the same way. If, uh, if you'd like to see more though, let us know. Content, like, subscribe. If you need products for your truck or SUV, if you're a Nissan or Infiniti, check us out as you want off-road. We've got everything that you need in an ongoing catalog. If you need to reach us, shoot us an email, info at z1offroad.com or give us a call. Thanks guys.